Hello investors, my name is Dayhan. Welcome back to your number one place for all your investing needs. In today's video, we're gonna be going over three potential altcoins to buy as the market is starting to rally, guys. So this is exactly what we we have been waiting for for the past few months, obviously, here. The market is currently up about 4.14%, and we're seeing the large cap coins start to move, which means the mid cap and the low cap should follow the same pattern as we go on in time. So here, Bitcoin up about 4.8%, Ethereum 4.4%, Bitcoin over 30 billion in volume, 14.7 billion on Ethereum. Bitcoin finally broke through that 47,000 area, pushed a little bit higher, and now we're seeing a little bit of a slight pullback. Ethereum was around 3,300. Now we're a little bit under 3,300. So we're right around those resistance areas that we've been talking about for weeks and weeks on the channel, talking about if we break through these, we could continue to say, you know, uh, bullish type sentiment. So BNB down here, up two and a half percent. We see Ripple's up almost three percent. Cardano one percent. Solana three percent. Uh, Luna Avalanche. You know Polkadot here seven percent. Dogecoin back in the fifteen cents area, starting to get into those high teens. And we're seeing many of the other altcoins are up three, four, five percent, and some even higher than that, depending on which uh, you know list and coins you guys are looking at. So this is very bullish right now for the market. Will this bullish type situation continue throughout the week? Well, that's something we're gonna have to keep an eye out on. Obviously, if we do see uh, you know these resistance areas get broken, that could be a very, very positive sign for cryptocurrencies going through the rest of 2022, as we could see another rally like we did in 2021 at the beginning of the year. So this is gonna be very, very interesting to see what happens in upcoming weeks guys so then we have these crypto bubbles obviously we have a lot of green in the past seven days we've been talking about the market being very bullish top winner is going to be zilica right here which is up 141 percent in the past week we have some other ones here like digibyte which is up 79 percent or so we have arc so ark is up over 69 percent we have stormx up over 47 percent VET, so VChain, up over 40 or 51% or so, and many other winners that you guys can see on this list as well. We obviously do have some red coins, so we see you know a couple of red ones here as well. Um, so things are kind of uh, looking good. Uh, we're seeing a lot more green compared to red, which is a positive sign for uh, you know a comeback. So definitely interesting to see how it's going to perform in the next seven days, and will this continue to stay green or not? So guys, before we get into the rest of this countdown, go ahead and smash that like button for me. Let's aim for 70 plus likes in this video uh, just smash the like button it helps the channel grow helps the channel you know continue to grow with the algorithm as well subscribe to the channel turn on that bell notification so you get notified every time i make a new video and as always leave a comment below letting me know what do you guys think about cryptocurrency uh and, and it's uh you know way it's going to perform in the next few weeks as well now let's get into it. First altcoin on this list is gonna be Filecoin FIL. So this one here in the past 24 hours has made a tremendous move from $19 all the way to highs up here at almost $25, up 24.58%. Past week, we're up 39%. And in the past month, we're up about 19.5% with lows down here at $16. On the one-year chart, obviously this coin is uh, down about 80%. But that is because we had a huge rally here in the beginning of 2021, where it went all the way to highs of 237, which is about 10 times higher than it was uh, currently than it is currently. So it was at around a 44, 45 billion market cap, and if we take a look now, we're at a 4.4 billion market cap. So it definitely fell down hard. 1.1 billion in volume, 456% uh, higher than usual. This one has plenty of upside. We could easily see this one, you know, make a, a double uh, 2x right here, easily come back up to about $50 or so in the future. We see typical hold time is going to be around 17 days. We can also see 58% buy activity, 42% sell activity. It is currently ranked at 26 coin on the list. As always, obviously, Filecoin is a cryptocurrency that powers the Filecoin network, a decentralized peer-to-peer -peer file network, uh, storage network that aims to let anyone store, retrieve, and uh, host digital information. Now, FIL tokens are used as a payment for these services and as an economic incentive to ensure files are stored reliably over time. So that is what they do. So it is definitely interesting um, how this one's going to perform, especially with this volume that's starting to pick up. This one could definitely continue to rally in the upcoming days. So I would watch uh, Filecoin very closely and add it to my radar and list to see what happens in the upcoming days. So that's going to be our first altcoin. Second altcoin is going to be Stellar Lumens, which can be XLM. This one is up about 6% here in the past 24 hours, trading at 23 cents. Past week, we're up 17.5%. And then on the one month chart, we're up over 28%. So we hit a low here in March at around 17 cents or so, March 7th. On the one-year chart, we're down about 42%, but once again, that is because most altcoins rallied in the beginning of 2021 uh, due to everything else rallying. So in January through pretty much end of May, beginning of April, 
everything rallied. So the first three or four months last year were very, very big, uh, which is obviously a good thing for people that were getting into these altcoins. Then we saw this huge sell-off going into the end of the year, and now we're starting to see you know a little bit of uptrend, a little bit of a reversal, and we're waiting for another uptrend, which is obviously what everybody wants. So we've seen this pattern in the past. I mean, if you look here in 20, 2017, same pattern. It went all the way up there to highs, pulled back down, and continued to go lower and lower. Hopefully that does not happen this time. Currently, 5.7 billion market cap. Volume is up 120% at 434 million. We have a 35-day typical hold time, and it's ranked the number 23 coin. 55% buy activity, 45% sell activity currently. Stellar's cryptocurrency, the Stellar Lumens, XLM, powers the Stellar payment network. Stellar aims to connect the world's finance system, enabling businesses and developers to take advantage of the network's fast speeds, low transaction costs, and interoperability. So obviously with this one being at a 5.7 billion market cap, and we hit highs at 71 cents at one point, this would be closer to about a 16 to 17 billion market cap if we were able to get back to those all-time high levels that we saw last year, but obviously we were even higher here in 2017. So it's going to be interesting. I definitely think this one could easily come back into the 40 cents range where we you know, traded in the past, but it's going to be very, very hard and take a lot of movement into altcoin uh, region for this one to push on higher through last year's highs that we saw at around 71 cents or so. So this one's going to be another one to add to your watch list and see what happens in the upcoming months. That's going to be our second coin. And then last but not least, number three is going to be Polkadot DOT. Very popular coin, one of the most popular coins out there. Currently, it is up about 7%, trading at $22.44. In the past week, Polkadot is up about 20%, making a nice move here. In the past month, 29% with lows down here at one point at around $16, right under $16. And then on the one-year chart, we're down about 30%. We saw the highs here in November, trading at around $55, obviously pulled back down to those lows. But we've seen this pattern uh, you know, many, many times. In 2020, we start to rally here into 2021. Hit highs, pull back down, hit highs again in November. Now we're pulling down. Could we see a similar type rally that we saw in the summer of 2021? It's going to be very, very interesting. You know, the patterns look very similar if you're taking a look at the charts. So if you're, you know, a chart looker who likes to see history and things, you know, how they performed in the past and you believe that will, you know, give us an outcome in the future, definitely look at Polkadot right there. So 22.2 .2 billion market cap, 855.3 million in volume, 57% higher than usual. The trading activity is, you know, right in the middle right there, 50% buy, 50% sell. It is ranked the number eight coin, so staying up there with the big dogs, obviously, and it has a 73-day typical hold time. Now, Polkadot is a protocol that enables cross-blockchain transfers of any type of data or asset by uniting multiple, multiple blockchains. Polkadot aims to achieve high degrees of security and scalability. Now, DOT serves as the protocol's governance token and can be used for staking to secure the network or to connect new chains. So, obviously, staking is another part of uh, cryptocurrencies, another part of crypto that everybody likes to get into. Uh, they'll lock up their cryptocurrencies for X amount of time to receive X amount of percentage back from their coin by staking. Uh, but obviously, that is something that you would only want to do if you believe in the coin for a very, very long time. You do your research, and you, you know it fits your criteria, and you're you know you don't care if you're if the price goes down, if the price goes up in the next few months or next few years. So that's gonna be your third altcoin on the list. Now let's take a quick look at the rest of the market, see how everything is performing. First of all, Bitcoin, like we said, currently it is up about 4.8 percent here, trading right around that 47,000. We were at 47,694 at one point. Now, in the past week, we're up 13%. Past month, we're up 23%. And then on the one-year chart, we're obviously down 16%. But we talked about this. We have to break through this uh, support level around this 47,000 area. Once we break through it, the next level is going to be around 50, 51,000. So that's the next uh, watch point to watch. 886.5 billion market cap, 34% of the crypto market space, 60% higher volume at 27.1 billion, and 110 day typical hold time. Coins have been you know held for a very, very long time here. 68% buy, 32% sell activity. Now, one thing that I continue to say is a lot of those coins have been held for the past year or so without moving. So a lot of people are just holding onto their coins no matter what happens with the price. And that is very interesting to see how the supply and demand type situation will be affected in the future as well. Then we have Ethereum. This one's up 4.5%, trading right under 3,300. At one point, we were at over 3,300. Past week, we're up 14.5%. Past month, 26%. And then on the one-year chart, this one is up 96%, which is still great, outperforming Bitcoin by a mile. We talked about that 3,300 area being a resistance level. Once we break through that, the next level is going to be around the 3,700 range. If we can break through the 3,700 range, we could you know, easily get back to the all-time highs very quickly. So 
395.3 billion market cap, 15% of the crypto market, 64% higher volume at 14.7 billion. We have 81 day typical hold time, 57% buy activity, 43% sell activity. Ethereum is looking nice. We're only about, uh, you know, half of uh, Bitcoin. So that is uh, definitely another thing that we've been talking about. If you actually been following my videos last year, when I first started talking about cryptocurrencies on this channel, um, Ethereum was about four times smaller than Bitcoin. And now Bitcoin is only about two times bigger than Ethereum. So that gap is getting closed a lot easier and a lot quicker. So just imagine what can happen in the next few years if Ethereum continue to close that gap, you know, make the gap smaller and smaller. And eventually we'll see, see the flipping happen where Ethereum will overtake Bitcoin and become the number one coin out there. And Bitcoin will be the altcoin compared to Ethereum being the number one coin out there for the public. So that's going to be very interesting if that happens in the future. What do you guys think? Do you guys think that will ever happen? Let me know in the comments below. We can discuss that as well. Um, meme coins obviously still staying there. Dogecoin and me, uh, Shiba Inu both up about 5%. Now, guys, let me know if you enjoyed this type of content. If you did, smash that like button for me. Subscribe to the channel. Turn on that bell notification so you get notified every time I get a new video. And as always, guys, I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. So before investing, speak to your financial advisor. Do your own due diligence. Make sure you understand what you're getting into. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys have a great rest of the week. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.